Hello everybody and welcome to a new video tutorial. In the video of today we are going to have a look at this question in Ross Answers which has been which asks for help in the laser assembly for Hokuyo scans in Gazebo. Yeah, for the laser assembly package. So yeah, he says I'm trying to assemble some readings from a Hokuyo laser simulated in Gazebo. Uh, once I have downloaded and can make it, uh, I run the Gazebo simulation, which publish the topic wherever a scan with a planar scan. I can perfectly visualize that the scan in Airbus by setting the fixed frame to a topic called Odom and adding a laser scan with the specific topic. Then he creates this launch file, but when he tries in a new terminal, Ross launch laser when he launches his his laser assembly assembler node. It does not publish any new topic, it only says the following. Okay, then here we have a, a, quest, a question which has been answered uh, lately, which is that you need to remap uh, your scan to the input topic, which is true, and the output is provided on a service, not a topic. Yes, so I'm going to go a little bit deep and I'm going to show you an example of, of how this works. Okay, since this laser assembler documentation is a little bit updated is a little bit uh, outdated and deprecated so let's uh, let's yeah let's try an example on this so yeah for that i'm going to use rds as always so i'm going to rds and i'm going to launch in this case a public simulation with a kabuki robot for instance because it is using a hokuyo laser which is the one he's a, he's asking for in in this example yeah but it, it will work the same for others, yeah? But in this case, the simulation has a Kubuki with a Hokuyo laser, so I'm going to use this one. So let's wait a few seconds until the full environment loads. There we are, excellent. So here we have the simulation with the Kobuki, the Hokuyo laser is mounted here, as you can see. Then, uh, yeah, first of all, let's have a look at RVs in order to see what the laser is showing. So I'm going to launch uh, RVs, and then by clicking here in the graphic tools, you can have a look at RVs. Here we are. Let's set the fixer frame to base link. And now I'm going to add a laser scan element. There we are. And I'm going to set the topic, which in the case of this simulation is, let's have a look. Yes, this one. So. In this simulation, the laser data is being published into this topic, in the Kubuki laser scan. So let's set this topic in RVs, Kubuki laser scan, there it is. And now I can visualize here, let's make it a little bit bigger. I can visualize here the laser scan data, yeah, which is detecting the wall. It is actually detecting this wall here. Yeah, so this is what I'm visualizing here. Excellent. So yeah, let's stop RVs. And now I'm going to create a, a launch file in order to start the laser assembler pack uh, node. So let's create a package. I'm going to call it, let's make this smaller. And I'm going to change the view to this one. Okay, so I'm going to create a new package, which let's call laser assembler demo. There we are. Now it will appear here, as you will see. 
here it is excellent so let's create a launch folder and inside let's create a new file which will be assembler.launch let's say okay now let's copy inside this code here which the user provides I'm going to paste this code here there we are and then basically here what I will need to do as it is said in, in, in this answer here the first thing I will do is to uh, remap here to my topic to the topic in my simulation which is publishing the laser data which is Kobuki laser scan there we are and then as a fixed frame I'm going to set base link in order to reference all the point cloud that will be generated to the base link okay and that's all yeah so I have used the same code just I have just did a, made a couple of changes here in the fixed frame which could be also done uh, for the old frame but in this case in my simulation I prefer to do it reference it to the base link frame and I have remapped to the topic in my simulation which publishes which contains the laser readings all right so now what happens here if I execute this let's have a look ROS launch I don't need to compile anything because uh, it is just a launch file yeah so uh, it's the laser assembler demo assembler.launch there we are so I start this launch file excellent so now what happens here is that a couple of services became available if we do now our raw service list you can see here that there are two new services which are assemble scans and assemble scans 2 yes you can have a look at the documentation if you want in order to see what each one of these uh, does but basically uh, they turn the laser data when called if you call this service they will turn the laser data into a point cloud data yes in this case it will turn it into a point cloud to data okay uh, so we are going to use this one the symbol scans 2 which will turn our laser readings into a point cloud to data okay so what I'm going to do is to create a service client basically which will perform calls to this service if that is it so let's create inside our package a Python script for that which I'm going to call let's say uh, call assembler.py alright then inside here I'm going to pass a code which I have prepared here there we are let's paste this code here which is very very simple as you will see basically what is doing is to initiate a node of course then here we wait for this service to be available which it is right now then we create the the, the service proxy here we specify the name of the service and the type of measure of message it uses which is assembler scans tool then I create here a publisher in order to publish let's put it to point cloud in order to publish the point cloud yes it will publish this point cloud into a topic named point cloud yeah and as you can see the message type is point cloud 2 yeah then uh, yeah basically here I perform I keep performing because I, I have this inside a while loop while this program is running it will keep doing calls to this service yes to this a symbol scans service it will keep calling this service yes and then it will with the data of the cloud it gets it will publish this data into this point cloud topic yes and then I will be able to access this point cloud topic to visualize this point cloud data in Erebus because it is being published into a topic all right excellent so let's uh, yeah let's test this code here 
and I have here launch. Uh, yes, my laser assembler node. Okay, here it is, laser scan assembler. Then what I'm going to do now is to launch my my uh, service client. So let's create a launch file. Service client dot launch. So let's create very quickly this launch file. So I need to specify the package, which is laser assembler demo. The file, which is called assembler.py. The name of the node, which is uh, test client. And finally, I'm going to set the output to a screen. There we are, excellent. So let's uh, launch this Python file. Laser. Sorry. There we are, assembler demo. And then I'm going to launch this assembler.launch file. There we are. Oh, sorry. This is the other one. <laughs> Yeah, it was this one, so let's uh, launch again this uh, the assembler node, and then I need to select the other launch file, which is the one that will launch my service client. It is service client launch. There we are. Excellent. So as you can see here, it is generating this point cloud. Yeah. So now let's uh, launch again Irvis in order to visualize this and verify that everything is working fine. So let's launch Irvis. There we are. Let's set our fixed frame to base link. And then now I'm going to add a point cloud to element, which is right here, point cloud to element. And I will select the topic where this point cloud is being published, which, if you remember, is point cloud. Yeah, so the point cloud is being published into this point cloud topic. So let's select this point cloud topic. There we are. And here you have it. Here we have the point cloud being published, yes. And as you can see, it's the same as the laser we were visualizing previously yes so yeah that's it very simple you can test it if you want at your home in rds in any operating system very quickly and very easily so yeah that's it i hope i have helped you to understand better how this works and if you have liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel because we keep publishing content like this almost every day. Okay? So, yeah, that's it. See you soon. Goodbye.